Hello and welcome to today's video dedicated to adjectives plus preposition. Now these collocations enable us to describe people, objects, attitudes, feelings, enabling us to create more complex sentences. Now some adjectives plus prepositions don't appear in this list today. For example, interested in, based on, keen on, free from, and so on. So this is just one of many lists available. You also have a PDF on our website, uh, which uh, includes a few more examples. So let's take a look. I'm going to run through some of the lists with you for pronunciation. Let's start with about. Annoyed about, furious about, anxious about, upset about, careful about, certain or sure about, Curious about, doubtful, delighted, happy, enthusiastic, excited, wrong, nervous, worried, serious, sad, and sorry. Let's now take a look at at. Annoyed at, amazed at, astonished at, bad at, brilliant at, excellent at, good at, slow at, surprised at, and terrible at. Now here you see this is underlined. It's because the meaning is slightly different. Please look at the activities and also the explanations provided on our website and on the PDF. I'm just going to carry on reading for pronunciation today. Now with by, we have amazed by, astonished by, and shocked by. Now with for, famous for, late for, punished for, qualified for, ready for, responsible for, and thankful for. Adjectives plus of include accused of, ashamed of, aware of, afraid of, capable of, conscious of, characteristic of, envious, frightened, fond, full, guilty, innocent, incapable, jealous, proud, scared, sick, suspicious, and tired of. Others now with to, accustomed to, allergic to, identical to, immune to, kind to, limited to, related to, relevant to, sensitive to, and used to. And finally, with, associated with, angry with, bored, busy, connected, familiar, impressed, involved, pleased, and satisfied with. Now, all I've done today is pronounce for you. Let's see a few important things that you should take into account. Okay, now you'll see that some adjectives appear with one preposition, then another. Generally, they mean the same. They can be used um, interchangeably. There's no difference. However, in some cases, there is a slight difference in meaning. You can be annoyed about something. You can be annoyed at someone, for example. So please take that into account when practicing with our interactive activities and take a look at the PDF and the course online. Thanks again for watching.